live. Hello, everybody. So today we're gonna have a more in-depth look at the um, Pokemon that we saw today, the new ones that are coming. I got Envy with me here today. And if you enjoy this, if you happen to see this, make sure you leave a like and sub. Support me, support my boy, get him to 75k. That's his uh, end of the year goal. Well, probably it's more of an end of the year goal, but like, we want to end the year. Say it's more of a goal that if we get there, the sooner the better, so that we can get to more goals and more goals and more goals. Because the goals never end. Sky's the limit? Nah. You but know there's what's checkpoints. The limit? There's checkpoints. Outer space is the limit. But Actually, there, no. But there are checkpoints, though. There are checkpoints for there goals. There are checkpoints, yes. There are checkpoints. For sure. Like, the uh, next one for me is 400k, and then after that, it's half a mil. And then obviously anything higher is incredible if I ever if I ever make it there. But it's gonna be going. Have a nice stream. And uh, yeah, let's let's get it. Apparently we heard you like us talking, so we are going to talk. <laughs> Drop them like with time. We just wanted to think of joy streaming tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell you why Terra Fly Electric Flygon is gonna be fire. Yeah, Terra Electric Flygon is not bad. No weaknesses, honestly. Honestly, I don't know if it still gets roost. That's something we'll talk about a little bit more today as well. Because remember that uh, the video I put up today was kind of just like my raw thoughts when I saw it. And I just literally put the pages together and went live. I'll tell you, it does have a weakness. Axorus Earthquake. Correct. Ooh. The slower Pokemon, the slower dragon. What up, Roy? The slower dragon might have it. Uh, so there are, there are actually, um, do Amphon to the top again? <laughs> I'll probably end up using it. There are actually, you know, there is a list out there of the actual full list of mods returning, but we're not going to talk about that right now. We're going to talk about the ones we just saw today. And then in a future stream, uh, probably closer to the DLC, I'll talk about all the other ones. Yeah. So, Envy, uh, you pull up, uh, let, me, let, me, let me pull these I pages. Have my table oh, correction to the previous answer. Mold Breaker Halucha's Power Herb Dig. Thank you, Envy. Thank you very much for what you had to say. <laughs> Someone got the link. I'm just on Cerebi. I don't have the. I'm not going over the full pace spin today. I'm just going over the ones on Cerebi. Have a good time. I think Scald and most moves go on Strike for the Mons. I got me skill shots. I need me some skill shot and glass guard. So this is the thing, right? DLC basically, you know, it's the third, second installment of the game, third installment, whatever you want to call it. We always get move tutors. We always get move tutors, right? You get Platinum, you know, Oras, etc., etc. Ultra Sun and Moon. So I'm assuming. Oh no, for the full pace spin. Oh yeah, I I don't have it. I might have included if it did, but, um, so I'm assuming, the, the thing is that we could see that Scald, but it doesn't actually have to exist, because, uh, Zapdos in the BDSP Battle Tower can use Heat Wave, but it can't use Heat Wave in regular, um, so they always have little things like that, but Scald Should actually, we do, uh, DLC pretty. 1 first, the Teal Mask? Yeah, 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 we're looking at Teal. You're on, oh, I was yeah. looking at your screen. You're looking at Indigo yeah. Disc. All right, let's look at Teal Mask first. All right, so we'll take the first Pokemon, right? Nine Tails coming back. Uh, I, I didn't even catch this in the beginning, but I appreciate everybody in the comment section. This also means that Alolan Nine Tails is back, which is actually way more exciting than regular Nine Tails. Uh, mm -hmm. For a few things, right? Aurora Veil vale actually comes back as a playstyle. We do have a really good hail setter at the moment in Galarian Slowking with Chili Reception, but. Cause that's like this is this is literally the best hail, hair setter hail hair setter hail setter ever. This is literally the best hail setter ever because it sets up it as it leaves in the same turn too, right? It's not like I have to bring the mon in and go for U turn. No, I'm setting it up as I'm leaving. Exactly. I, I, this this so is the can't best. They change the weather on you if you're especially exactly you're and you're slow, so you're actually exactly exactly. So I mean, this is the best one, but Alolan Ninetales is the best Aurora Veil vale setter. Ever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? Like, it's going to be insane with Aurora Veil teams. Let me put this in uh, National X just to be clear. I also want to yeah, say. I wouldn't like, know you, but then it didn't show the moves. Yeah. National Dex, does, show, does National Dex show deleted moves and stuff? It's, it probably does. So we'll, we'll, we'll take it with a grain of salt when we talk about it. Yeah. But I, I really like Veil. Vale, obviously, I think Veil vale is going to be really, really strong. Especially now, bro. Now that I think about it, before you could defog Veil, vale, you can't now with Golden Go. Like. Like Golden Go, right. Air Balloon right, Golden right. Go can be a standard on Veil teams. It can to prevent, uh, yeah, to prevent default exactly. Yeah, to prevent mm -hmm. default, prevent spin, also or, or magic bounce, right? Magic yeah, literally. Too. So we have like we have we have we have ways to deal with it, right? Also, uh, the fact that Alolan Nine Tails, and this one in particular, because I was talking about in my other video in the video 
that this Nine Tails can actually be scary in lower tiers with Nasty Plot and Specs, uh, especially when with Terra, so it can change its typing and everything. Hey, what's up, Vivid? Um, come here, every month that's gonna come with you has already been released. I think leaked. Yeah, 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 I know. But we're just gonna talk about the ones we saw today, and then we're gonna talk about the ones later. But like this guy, you know, Nasty Plot actually being able to tear into something. You got your Fire Blast. You got your Solar Beam or whatever, and you could tear into whatever. Maybe tear a Fairy. Maybe tear a Ground. Like something for Heatran. It's gonna be nasty. You think that uh, Alolan Night Cells though can do an offensive Nasty Plot one too? Like. Don't you just need Nasty I mean, with Terra, freeze? anything is possible, bro. I think with Terra, literally anything is possible. Especially since this also has freeze drive. So I think it, I think type wise, like with Terra plus the coverage that it has on it's, this, it's it, insane. It, I think it could be, yeah, it could be better, I would say. Especially also because it's faster than regular Ninetales. So, yeah. I think so. Hey, good luck at work, Marco. What up, Jared? Oh, uh, no, no, no. This is not the full list. Just the Mons that are, um, that we saw today. I think this is actually going to be crazy. Like, what would you run? Terra Ground? Or f Terra Ground or Terra Water? water? Yeah, Water, yeah. right? Water's fine. Terra Water. Yeah, it, it's actually... It covers everything. Pretty much Freeze Drive, Water, and Moonblast. Like, if, it hits... Wow, yeah. If well, Snow Warning, yeah. you want a Blizzard for the damage? Uh, No, no, no. You're Snow Warning, so you can get the defense boost. I don't think you need Blizzard. Nasty. Uh, you, your Water type attack... Your Ice type attack, being able to hit Water types is how you're going to beat Pox effects. Yep. But you get the ice type defense boost, which I think is gonna be really nice. You could obviously run Blizzard if you want, but yeah, I think Freeze Dry is just better. What up, Pyro? Freeze Dry, in my opinion, best offensive ice type attack in the game. Water plus Freeze Dry is only resisted by Dry Skin Jinx. Nice. Yeah, Terra Water looks crazy, dude. This that guy. You remember, <laughs> you remember? You remember getting this guy on uh, in Rambats all the time? Too. I do. Always and I me. remember beating you every single time with yeah. it. In Ram always Bats. cook me. Always cook me with Ram Bells. <laughs> so like this set offensively is is not bad. I, I I can't see it being bad, at all. I don't think so either. Yeah. I'm excited, and I just think Veil archetypes seem really strong too. Assault vest, snow warning, boost both defenses. Yeah, but taking rocks kind of kind of taking whack. rocks is annoying. Yeah. Like, literally, water gets rid of the weaknesses and then also covers the heat trend and also covers, um... Just your weakness to fire that, in general. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And just getting a water stab. I mean, it's, it's good against steel types, too, I would say. Most of them. Literally. Literally. I don't know. It's just... I don't know. It's... it's I, I really freaking like... I really freaking like water. Do you think Veil teams are going to look more like this with, like, Dragon and Dragapult? I'm trying to think... What would current Veil look like if we could get it today? Current Veil if we get it today. So here's what I'm thinking, right? You have nine tails. You could do the whole Golden Go Glamora kind of thing if you want. You could also do, um, hold on, let me change my tutor to OU and look at these mods. Okay. Um, oh yeah, National Dark's throwing me off. King Gambit's an option. Like, oh yeah, Gam uh, I mean, Gambit's, Gambit's, I think is, uh, Gambit's like a go to in yeah, my opinion. Like yeah, like Ninetales, Dragapult, King Gambit is a really solid one. Um, you have things like, uh, let's see, even Not like Enamorous behind, Enamorous behind it. I think Enamorous is a really good mod. Either the regular or even like the, Booster like think Val. about Veil plus uh, Therian is actually pretty crazy. Um, another one is Terra Poison Crest. I was recommended to use that at some point. That mod apparently is really good. Yeah, with combine. Um, what else we got here? We know the DLC no, is now, Alan. What is what is uh what is that comment about? Was it someone did somebody ask that and you were just responding? I don't like to tighten as much. I think that Val is better. I I think these three are insane on Veil. Like they're already insane. Yeah, what you have is. there is, is yeah, what you have there is really good too. Like boost of this. Bax is definitely something for sure. Bax for sure. Bax gets the ice defense boost and that. So Bax is definitely. I can see. see see Bax on on Veil. I could also see um. Uh, let, let's let's be real. Zamazenta is not going to be here forever, right? <laughs> that mod has to go. Yeah, I don't know, dude. People, I don't know how people are voting on it. We'll see what happens. But Zamazenta is crazy. Do they have any I mean, moves? I, we don't know any moves yet, no. With Zapdos, it's pretty easy. I guess no. I guess Galarian Moltres is something you could run to. Roaring Moon. I would make your last something off the ground. I don't want to just be earthquaked. You know. I don't want Zapdos though. I guess it'll have to be something that could beat Great Tusk really easily. 
Honestly, this could be anything. Yeah, I think Veil's gonna be crazy. See, uh, Azumarill, Belly Drum, Oz or something. Yeah, Oz could be cool too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lando could be there for rocks as well, or Great Tusk, I guess, of your own. Or even. Yep. Okay, I mean, Hail Archetype looks really good. Obviously, Dragonite is something that looks really good too. I, I definitely think that Veil is gonna be. Yeah, once this mod is out, Veil teams will be really good with this, just being able to set up screens in one turn. Yeah, I agree. I also, uh, alright, so we got that. We agree in Nine Souls as well. Lax, dude. Snorlax. Oh my god. So some people were in chat are saying, did it get slack off finally? I wouldn't mind it getting slack off because they did nerf recovery. But, because like curse slack offsets sound nasty. Dude, curse belly drum slack offsets sound fun too. There's no way this gets slack off. <laughs> Imagine that. Hey, why not? Why not? Why not? That mod is going to be so good. I don't know. Is it gonna be that good though? What's like? I mean, it'd be. It's only eight recovery, eight PP. Um, like it's only eight at the moment. Would it actually be? Cause... I think so. Imagine, imagine you run. Uh, imagine you run slack off. Curse immunity. Facade. Ooh. Ooh. So slack status. off facade sounds fire. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. And you give you it a. And you give status. it immunity. Right, you give it immunity because why do I need immunity? So what do I need poison. thick for? Yeah, so yep, you can't yep, get poison. Exactly, exactly. And then we go. Exactly. What? What was our last move? Now you, now you literally. Shoot, I'm run going earthquake to. Or fire punch. I'm going to tear a ghost. Oh. <laughs> Something like that. Wait, Ooh. Terra Ghost with Curse actually would like transform it. That's into what I'm doing, here, bro. Mod. When I'm about to die, I'm about to give them a curse and then slack <laughs> it off. That's actually a crazy. That, I Come actually on, like Boston. that a lot. I don't know if Ghost is that. No, nobody's using Rollout. Why is this not in National Dex? Oh, I keep putting in Paldia Dex. Not Dex. Try to think. If you get burnt. Maybe even Body Press, dude. Just for Gambit and stuff. But you want to be able to hit Ghost. Okay, no, you have to hit Ghost. It, hit ghost. it definitely has to be Earthquake Glass. Terra Ghost isn't bad though. You Terra, and then when you fight it Great Tusk, probably, you curse. Yeah. The, the, you be, oh. I don't know. Maybe Terra Ghost isn't play. Maybe Terra. I mean, there's zero wrong with Terra Water and Terra Fairy. Good night, bud. There's nothing wrong with Terra Fairy or or Terra mm -hmm. or Terra Water. Thank you, Jim. Terra Fire to a burn, avoid burns. Burns don't matter for us though, because we have facade. Yep. Like, if it does have slack off, I think it'd be nasty. Again, this Ooh. is just what-if scenarios. Do you want to know the physical ghost type attack it gets besides Terra Blast? What does it get? Lick. Paralysis. It gets Lick. Thank you. Thank you. And you can use it 48 times. Okay, so Lick, as Envy would say. <laughs> we can Lick our opponent 48 times. Like a damn Tootsie Pop, bro. <laughs> I don't know if I like that analogy. No, it says how many licks does it take to get to the center of the Tootsie Pop? It actually takes we'll find a Find out. It's 418. You tried it? For the small one, yeah. It's 418. I did it before. <laughs> he did the test. Yeah. Yo. That's exactly Rubble. That's exactly how he said lick. He said lick <laughs> and smiled. Nobody's using lick. We'll get this out of here. But. Come on. But. I mean, you could also just run. Like, does this guy not get player off, dude? You might just run Terra last. You might. I mean, you could if that's a featured mon. Dude, if it's uh, if I'm Terra Water, I'm running Terra Blast for sure. Like, why not? This is all hypothetical if he gets Slack off, right? Yeah, yeah. This is all hypothetical. Obviously, let's get rid of Slack off as an option. Uh, Curse Rest is still okay, but Rest is only PP, so it's a lot worse. But. I mean, you can still do things with obviously body slam. I, th I do think the the Terra is what's gonna make it crazy. I mean, you probably just go earthquake standard. This mon, yeah, I think, I think so too. This mon, looking at the OU tier, especially if you Terra Fairy. Only Amoongus looks like it could take it on. Looking at everything else, Amoongus and Golden Go if you Terra Fairy, but no, obviously no Golden Go if you don't Terra Fairy. Guard can Salt Cure. Put Victory Dance on it, maybe Chimpak, please. Bro. Can it dance though? Can it dance? I don't know. I'm trying to see. I definitely think you want a means of hitting. 
I think Earthquake is best. Yeah, you obviously want this is a standard. I think standard is going to be fine. It's standard probably going to be lower tier. If it does get slack off though, it's definitely going to be one of my few mons I'm going to I'm going to yeah. use early. I, I could also see um I could also see Curse three attacks. I think that was also a set that was running around uh, last gen. What um, what what last attack will we use on it? I remember the Curse three attack set was it was like Curse, Body Slam, Fire Punch. Earthquake? Earthquake, I think. Yeah. I guess that could like work. There's no fair, there's no fair throw, but it does hit uh it does hit Corv. And another mm -hmm. thing, you yeah. could, you could technically still run Terra Ghost with that if you want, so that way Corv can't body press you and you just fish. Mm -hmm. Could do that. Uh, you could also run A V. Chinese A V uh A V also Snorlax. works. Yeah. No Maybe pursuit, but still I think it can sponge hits pretty well. Yeah, Lax is still fine without pursuit. Snorlax kinda of feels like a Ursa Luna type mon, sort of. Ursa Luna feels like a like in it was a Snorlax in its previous life. Why don't you think it was a nursery? Um, you know. You know both of these mons are bears? Snorlax is a pig. Uh, no, it's a bear. Nope, I did a pig live a gator and we used Snorlax, so I can confirm it. I don't see its nose, do you? It doesn't have to have a nose. Also, bears have noses. Pigs, pigs, pigs are supposed to have noses, though. So, are, so do bears. Pigs have circular noses. Thank you for this conversation, Envy. All right. <laughs> Fur has not been in a game, I think, since X and Y, unless you count BDSP. And in BDSP, this Mon had the beautiful combo of ice and, and, and fire so it could beat Scizor and Gliscor. Uh, this Mon needs desperately. Dustbuster desperately needs a buff. Dustbuster. Dustbuster? Yeah, the Killer Natural, man. Come on. I know oh, you it's like the yeah, I know what you mean. Like the little yeah, the I know I know what you mean. No, it's like the it, thing that cleans dust. Yeah, but it's a reference to the goat killer nacho. It's okay, he doesn't know TKN, but don't worry about it. It was before your time, brother. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember I've been I've been on YouTube uploading since 2010. Yeah, I was YouTube on YouTube way, way, way before I was on YouTube years before that. It's true. Ferret wasn't in Gen 7? Was Ferret in Gen 7? I feel like it was only in X and Y. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, um, can I tell you my ferret set that I used in a live a long, long time ago? Was it coil? Coil ferret. The ferret had it was coil, double edge, dynamic punch, and aqua tail with a Chinese EV spread of 252 HP, 140 attack, 52 speed F, and 64 speed. Jolly nature. It had an Aya Papa berry, and frisk. I don't don't need all those EV spreads, but I mean with coil it could be something. What's up, Fluff? Here. Hey, he was always one of my first two as well that I watched too. Yeah, I mean, that, obviously your choice, Ben. Uh, Ferret isn't like, it's not a game-breaking mon, and it never will be, unfortunately. These oh, stats it, just- It was game-breaking that video, I'll that. Even with Terra, yeah, I know, it did 44%, and you're like, yeah, Ferret! Um, even with Terra, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything, right? Let me, let me go to, Okay, what if you Terra? I said even with Terra, it doesn't do anything because look at these stats. His best offensive stat is 76. They did not make this Pokemon to succeed. They made this Pokemon to be a pet. <laughs> like literally. How dare you? How dare you? What a Huawei. Let me look up some stuff. Hey, Corey. It probably won't get knockoff when it comes back, or do you think it will? Dynamic Punch Ferret walks in OU. I think I told you to put this title. Because mm -hmm. the ferret walks. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Yeah, I remember you did. You told me that one. Oh, it was in Gen Seven. Nice. I I mm -hmm. literally watched this game. I have, there's a like right here. I literally left a comment. You can't say that. <laughs> I called it for rent. Whoops. You misspelled. Your first battle, you fought a Ledian. This boy was playing at one hundred one thousand on the ladder. <laughs> no. People were, this was a time, bro, this was a time in the, in the entire universe where people were actually using heat on the ladder. Yeah, people I People were actually loading up heat in like the 1700s. We all were. As it should be. Did they actually show the evolution of, uh, it? Yo, you can, your Mega Altaria lost to Ledian. Get smashed. <laughs> Get smashed. Turn 23. Get, never forget. <laughs> never forget, guys. Nice fur double edge. Did 54 plus 2 to Zapdos. Fif you. 50. What do you mean, Tommy? That's plus 2 stab. That is plus 2 stab. 
Good damage though, right? A nice para on the de defensive. Yeah, fair para on that. Come on, man. This is not the mon. Anyway, unfortunately, <laughs> this mon would not be groundbreaking. It cannot do anything. Um, if you use it in a meta game where baton pass is allowed, there's other mods that can agility baton pass too. Next. I uh, okay. I'll uh, I'll agree. Noctowl. Mm. Noctowl is good. It does have like, tinted lens. Like it has. Noctowl is. It has more potential good. than the other mon because it has tinted lens. Bro, there was, there was some dude that I remember on the ladder who, was using like a he peaked with Noctowl. Remember that one in like the rain? Yes. The specs knocked out in the rain. Noctowl is good. I mean, it has a decent speed here. Choice specs, Hurricane, Hyper Voice, Heat Wave, Moon Blast, easy. Tindalens. Yeah, and I guess in this one, you could actually. This would be like a lower tier uh, Yam Mega. Like a lower tier Yam Mega, lower tier Hisuian Braviary. Like a lower, lower tier. Yeah, I can see I can see this. For sure in lower yeah. tier, just click clicking buttons. And also, I would like to point out that it can also Nasty Plot. Yeah, though I think Terra is a little bit better, like Terra Fly. Lower, super yeah. lower tier, super lower tier. Super low tier, nothing better. Moonblast for who? So you can don't have to miss versus fighters, I guess. That's about yep. it. Also, it's a good, it's a lot of stuff resisted, so it's good for tinted lens. Fairy's good. I also liked using a, uh, a sub roost nasty plot hurricane set, mono hurricane, and you can use Terra flying for that. Yeah, it has a really bad defense, but like the rest of its stats are. Manageable. So you go, you go uh, max HP, so it hits 404, and then when you sub, you can't get broken by Simi Toss, and then you run um, 244 speed, so you hit 260, one more than 259, which is Adamant Dragonite, and then you run 12 special attack. That's true. Also, you don't need Hyper Voice. You can run Terra Blast slightly weaker, but it becomes Stab. It's Stab, and then also when you Terra, it's also still Stab. Yeah. So that could be cool. I don't know if Heat Wave will still be on it as an option, but it's not bad. Yep. Lower, lower, lower tier. Okay, M Pom. Very happy about this. Ooh, right? M Pom going back. Is it going back to the top though? I don't know. We'll see. But technician obviously is amazing. Um, like absolutely amazing. Right with the fake out. Uh, I don't think it still has it, but tail slap was beautiful, man. And you could technically run loaded dice. Uh, actually, yeah. You don't even need skill link. You run the technician loaded dice. Shoot. Right. Oh, loaded dice is actually, dude. That actually will be so strong. That actually will be like. That's the right Breloom. I respect it enough dice. to crush the ladder with it. Yo, instead of Mousehold running Population Bomb, Amber Palm would run Population Palm. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you, Evie. I appreciate you very much. Um, yo, yo, yo. I will say we don't know what it'll get, right? But let's say like things like this. Uh, obviously, it probably doesn't get knockoff anymore. Most likely won't get knock off. Is there anything it can do to hit? It might still get fire punch though. Shut up, call. Yeah, something like this. You could Terra. I think Terra is pretty cool with this, obviously, right? You could Terra normal and get like stronger technician tail slaps. Uh, you could Terra fight and have a stronger low kick, probably knock out Heatran type of thing. Yeah, exactly. Using this with Terra normal and draft league, this is a fire lower tier pick. Like this is what this is one of the lower tier picks in draft that we bring versus each other in prep and actually be terrified of. Yeah, no, 100%. I mean, it's fast, it's strong. Terra, Technician, like... And there's a lot of good moves you can utilize with Technician as well. Like, this Mon is... It could be interesting. You could also do, like, Nasty Plot, bro. Like, Nasty Plot with, uh... Oh, I, I yeah, feel like please. with Technician, it could be actually kinda... Kinda good, maybe. Kinda like Persian. If I wanted Tail Slap action, I used Cinchino. Literally, why? It's weaker. <laughs> It's weaker, they have the same base speed. It's slightly weaker. I, obviously it has like Rock Blast and all that crap, but this guy has Fake Out, which is the big thing. Like Fake Out into Tail Slap knocks out so much and actually revenge kills. I'm just, I'm literally trying to find out why. Appreciate you. We can go to home, we can go to homers. It has more moves to abuse with its ability. Yeah, but I think Fake Out is a big thing. Yeah, I said yeah. Thank you for the water. <clears throat> Fake on its own is not good enough for revenge killing. Fam, have you have you it, this is Amber Palm. This is Amber Palm. I have a whole it make it I, have, to the top. I have a whole series of it using fake out and revenge killing everything. <laughs> I had a whole series of upload from I got highlight videos. Let me find it right now. Yo, I feel like yeah, like Terra Normal. 
Silk Scarf, Last Resort. He's gonna go crazy. After Fake Out. Terra Normal Fake Out and a Terra Normal Last Resort. Oof. Right here. And we'll pop to the top. This is a goat. Look at this little guy. One. Azu. Plus six, by the way. Plus six. Get slapped, Septile. Get freaking slapped. Get slapped, Mammal Swine. Get freaking slapped. Get slapped, Mantine. Get faked out, Infernape. Get faked out, Mega Beedrill. Look at that. Oh, fake out last resort. Out. Smashed. Smashed. Goodbye, Cobalion. You deserve a good rest. You too, Sylveon. Sit down, Magneton. Goodbye, Haxorus. Yo. Some of them ran uh, Modest slash Adamant if they were Mega Braylon. Oh, goodbye, Cobalion. Look at this guy. Look at this. This is Amapon blowing up everybody. Goodbye, Gliscor. You, you, by the way. You, you, Gliscor. Oh, goodbye, Raikou. Oh, Terrakion and Mamoswine and that? Goodbye. I'm just saying, I got a whole video of this Mon smashing and revenge killing the entire... Oh, goodbye, Minetra, because I can flinch you. See, Fake Out is very good in the tier M volume is going to be it. You can't sit, compare it to Megalopony needing Fake Out plus, plus Quick Attack, because that's OU. But this homie... But this homie... In, in lower tiers, goes crazy. Fake Out is very good. It, cr it just creates opportunities. I mean, look at some of the mons that Amber Bomb is facing. In it's those it's literally fighting demons. It's literally it's fighting, fighting demons. demons. Literally. <laughs> yeah, but the point is, if Lokix doesn't kill, then what happens to Lokix? He'll die. So we got that Fake Out. Goodbye, Pout on. Look at look at my opponent's team. A bunch of demons. I'm fighting every damn team in existence. And Amber Bomb to the top. <laughs> Remember, the next gen ZU is the last gen ZOU. Like, Amapom's gonna go crazy. Every single team? This was such a fire series, man. You gotta bring it back when Amapom comes back, though. It's not the same. Uh, Amapom would miss you, though. Brandon Master, I think you're just a hater. I'm gonna be completely honest. You're just fighting against, I think you're, but you did say you were a hater, so you're sticking with what you are. But I think you're just an Amapom hater. Maybe it's time to also make the a point is, Also, Sinchino is definitely, could not do any of the stuff Amapom did in this video. Because most of this stuff, most of this stuff will happen because of Fake Out. You can't compare it to Lokix either. I think it's time to lead Amapom versus Saying, Brilliant. Look at this, Fake look at this. Ghost. Look at this, goodbye Hydreigon. Oh, by the way, by the way, uh, that Hydreigon kill right there. Let's see that. So that Hydreigon kill happened after I faked out Manetric. If Lokix was my last Pokemon and first impressioned the uh, and first impressioned the Manetric, I lost right here because Lokix is slower than Hydreigon and dies. But nope, not Ambipump. But yeah, they're completely different ones. This is a little goat, man. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that Azu. Another plus six Azu. Oh, whole team got Shimon. Whole freaking team. Goodbye, plus three. Sinchino ain't doing any of this. Goodbye, Suicune. Faked out. Faked out. Faked out. None of these were fake out, by the way. Look at that veil. Look at that demon veil. Plus six. Plus, I knocked out two plus six mons in that game. Fake out. Fake out. Look at this, homie. I fought Aimbi Palm, too. I'm just saying, man. This Amapom going crazy. I ain't never seen anybody. I don't think anybody in their life ever got 67 kills with, with Sinchino. Ever. Unless they count their own deaths. This guy, you guys do not sleep. We're watching this whole damn video, by the way. There's only a minute left. <laughs> We're watching it kill every mom. We're reliving Amapom to the top. Too. Gotta relive this. Load the dice technician Amapom. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. It's the whole series worth of Amapom. This is kill. literally the whole series. I think this is every single kill I got in the series. Yep. For that month. Was, That's a crazy was it because you like the Amapom or the purple? Uh, I, I thought 
I thought everybody was disrespecting Emma Palm, so I didn't like that, and I decided to use it. See if we can raise yeah, up. Bro, there, there, are, there are a lot of people disrespecting Emma Palm. I still remember, too, when I did a video with Emma Palm, people were like, and there were haters in the comments. There were so about, many like, haters, dude. I hate Emma Palm. Like, why are you supporting? Like, yeah. Yeah, why are you supporting? The thing is, I was on high ladder with this guy because I played every single day. I was on high ladder, man. So I play every single day. You know what's crazy? Uh, so a lot of the half the UU council supported me, or mostly UU council. The UU tier leader supported me, like Pearl and them. Even gave me teams. The number one dude on ladder supported me. A bunch of people supported me. The UU room though did not. <laughs> and then they unleashed Breloom to try and stop my Emma Palm, but it didn't work. Oh, nice stall by the way. Get Emma Palm. Yep. Yeah, nice Starmie. Oh, nice Breloom. Yeah, nice Glide score. Yeah, nice Tornadus. Nice glide score, huh? Bring out the next mon. Yeah. Yeah. All this. I think 6 was the rank, max rank I got on video, but I'm pretty sure I got higher. I think I got number 3 or 4. But yeah. Dude got damn near 100 kills. That's the GOAT. Yeah. You guys just watched my ammo pump to the top propaganda. Make sure you go ahead and watch that series. Anyway. That mod's the GOAT. But speaking of the GOAT, dude. Yan Mega, bro. Ooh. Dude, doesn't speed boost get in a billion times better now that it can Terra and actually like it's the hidden power, but actually yeah, stab. It, it, it can actually Terra. Dude, this mod is actually it's gonna be you know what it's gonna be, bro? It's, you know what it's gonna be? It's I'm listening. It's gonna be Espatra. You stop using Amapom, it couldn't hold that tier for more than a month. And the moment you stop using Amapom, it couldn't hold its tier for more than a month. Yeah. What about Sinchino? Let's see where Sinchino was in generation seven. Look at let me look at generation seven OE right now. Let's look at Shinchino. Yeah, nice P U B L. Nice 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 P U B L. Come on, it's trash. All I'm saying is, Shinchino would not have been able to do anything that I did in that UU video that Ampom did. Specifically because fake out is what helped me. Oh, but also Ice Punch and Fire Punch, so I could beat Gliscor and Scizor, which I did a billion times. At least it was banned somewhere. What are you talking about? Ampom got banned from the UU room. You couldn't say it ever. It got banned for a whole month from the UU room. That's it. Nah, uh, Braylon Master's been a long time sub. I, I feel like I remember there were salty people after like Ampom moved up tiers. There was one dude called a Scavalier, whatever, who argued in the U in that one thread for 200 pages. <laughs> I, I, I really remember vividly that there were literally like these kind of, kind of angry people after for 200 up, pages like, dude tiers. people are ridiculous man like yo calm down man oh that is actually insane he was hitting me a monkey. and he got Over really he got he got really mad when i did mammoth swine at the top the next month as well and kept that boy <laughs> where, right where it was ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, man anyway uh, yeah, Mega Speed Boost gets a lot better, right? Because you can just run Terra Ground, which becomes Stab, so it actually will nuke uh, Heatran. It'll do a ton of to Tox Specs. It'll probably nuke Golden Go too. I think the two big sets for Yan Mega are the Speed Boosting set with Terra, and then also the uh, Choice Specs Tinted Lens set. Those are like the big ones. Choice Specs um, Tinted Lens is kind of crazy because, like, obviously Braviary is really good, but Hurricane can miss. Mm-hmm. Like Hurricane can straight up miss, but like Bug Buzz is just a move that doesn't miss. It, it's ninety. Yeah, it does damage. It does. It actually damage. does damage. Like it actually does damage. Like I want. I want to run a calc. I want to run a few calcs from yeah, Mega just to be safe. You know, just to give us a little bit of an idea how this mod. That's what I'm thinking. Terra Bug. Uh, bug Buzz as well. Wow. Why am I putting it in custom set? You're a bug. Yeah, Mega. All right. So let's run. Let's go choice specs. Let's do. Let's do modest because we are people of the people. Even though Tim is probably better for Golden Goat, but uh, let's do Golden Goat. So we'll do Nasty Plot, which is fine. Cover Cloak. Uh, that, that's insane, by the way. That's a four times resist. I know it's Tinsel Lens, but that's a four times resist doing 38 to 45. So you tear a bug, and that's a 2 AK on Golden Goat, which is freaking crazy. That's absolutely insane. And obviously, uh, Terra Blast uh, Ground should probably Oko based on that damage. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Goodbye. You deserve a good rest. Uh, let, me make this, let me make this mod Life Orb. Yeah, and Life Orb, Life Orb can kill too. So the speed boost one. Life Orb actually kills 98.116. Yeah, that's. This is it. This is the mod. Any quad bug resistance meta? Yeah, it's Golden Go. 
You definitely go ground. Oh, I want to see how much this does to Tox Specs because they're not running AV anymore. They're running like more Fizz Def. That mm -hmm. does so much. <laughs> Yo, Air Slash is a terror. Oh, I have Tinted Lens though. Get, get rid of that. <laughs> well, Tinted Lens. Yeah, is actually so good with Terra. Dude. It's sort of like its weaknesses and just does so much. Dude, oh. and the speed boost though is so Yo, I cannot wait to do a video with this too. Yeah. Terra Ghost for Dragonite and stuff like that. How much does Terra Psychic do to Ape? Are you talking about Annihilate? We have, we have Air Slash, which is Stab. You can just do Terra Fly. How much does Terra Bug Buzz? Oh, let's see how much you do Iron Valley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see. I want to see all the resistances. The times for resistances. Specs, right. Spe choice Specs, right? Choice Specs. Yeah, of course. I want to see how all the resistances. Oh, I forgot to give it Tinted Lens. Ah, that's what it needs, yeah. Nice 78 to 92. Honestly, not bad. Not bad. A little bit less than I expected, but not bad. Hey, I mean, I'll take that. That's times four resisted, too. Yeah, that dude's, that dude's a, a demon. Honestly, that's not bad, dude. Are we And we 2 it kill Golden Go always as well. Yeah, I think the lower... T this is one that if we go into a draft league MV, it needs to be banned from Terra. If, if, if it's a lower tier Terra draft oh, league... Oh, if it's a low tier... Oh, man. Yeah, this, yeah 100%. 100%. This is this Terra would be insane. No switchins. Literally. Specs in a four times. That's our weak mon shaky though. I mean, we have Great Tusk is the greatest spinner in the game. Like, I think it'll be fine. If I really want to, I'll run uh, Mold Breaker, Defog, Halucha with this mon. Yeah, yeah, Mega's gonna be crazy. So, Gligar and Gliscor. So, if they don't have Roost, it's a completely different story. Obviously. Obviously, right? But if they do have Roost... Oof! I talked about it before. The Swords Dance, Earthquake... Roost, facade set, obviously going crazy. Staunt, taunt, stealth rock. This one, it can't toxic, right? And it can't default. But who knows if Roost and default come back? Like, what if they do? What if they're move tutors? Yeah, it has knockoff in its move tutor and its move pool, so it's fine. Honestly, assuming Roost does come, let's just assume Roost does come back. Also, I think that uh, fling acro terra fly actually, yeah, it sounds pretty cool too. But I'm Nicholas. Yo, what if you ran instead of facade? Terra Blast, Terra Ice. You can't run Terra Blast, Terra Ice, bro. That's so <laughs> bad. <laughs> why, Wait, why ice over water? Ice because first of all, ice resists ice. What? Second of all, no, no, that's all ice resists. That, that that's all ice resists. <laughs> Second of all, ice. You know, water resists weak. ice too. But think about it, it becomes Chinese mammoth swine with the ground. No, it's not ground, ice. it's ice, and it has no it actually loses to every mon it beat before. It also beats Lando T and other Glace scores that don't want to Terra. Facade plus Terra water. <laughs> Ooh, Terra Ice inhale. Imagine Glue score on the Aurora Veil team and you Terra Ice and you have ter Earthquake Terra Blast coverage the ground ice coverage is amazing you, you have an additional defense boost as well and poison heal and you go for agility yo well, it, well Gliscor will how do you beat that mon? Gliscor would be top tier if it, if it actually still has uh, Roost that's about it I think when it comes to this mon if it still has Roost it'll be top tier Mighty Anna no these are like all these all these mons half these mons need buffs this guy, at least it's not as bad as Furret, right? Actually, it might be able to do something with Moxie. It might actually be able to do something with Moxie. Because now I can Terra Fairy and be, uh, and play rough. Like, it's actually not terrible. Or he can Terra Blast and have, like, Terra Fire, Terra Ground. Dude, it's actually not bad. Even I really like Mighty Anna as a Pokemon. Yeah, Terra Dark really Crunch like isn't bad either. Like, it's, it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, and PU isn't ready, dude. This mod is PUBL, like Sunchino. Nah, it's definitely not. Let me look at the current. Let me look at the current. The current tier. Can I tell you a mighty asset that I've used? I'm listening to you. Alright, let me look it up. Here we go. Got it. I used, uh. This is not a Chinese beast, but it's a very offensive set. It's Crunch, Sucker Punch, Ice Fang, Fire Fang. Yeah, yeah. Nice elemental. Foxy. Life Orb. I'm thinking if I look at the NU tier, because NU already has this mod, right? It's called my boss diff. <coughs> Sorry, my blessing. Bless you. Thank you. Bless you. Um, but NU already has this mod. It's called my boss diff, and it's better, right? But yeah, but this is but Mighty was the original boss. Cool. Yeah, Mox is cool. 
I still remember you, pulling you, up and seeing thank Maxi you throw out one of those mons and it was crazy. Level 28 on the top of the volcano. Because I had Intimidate. <laughs> That's why. Yep. It, it was and hard to me. Yeah, but I had a Blazing... I had a, a Combustion and it just clicked Double Kick, so it didn't matter. No, even Double Kick wasn't an Oko, bro. <laughs> it was a 2 kill though. You just hit yeah, it, it yeah, twice and that, you can't kill you. But... Yep. Yeah, I'm, honestly, Terra helps this mod a lot for Moxie sweeps. Uh, kind of like a Haunch Girl that's a little bit faster. Actually, no. Haunch Girl's faster than this. But Haunch Girl's weak to rocks, whereas this mod is not. So I'm sleeping and having to be up in five hours. I'm here watching something I don't really understand, but I love the commentary. Hey! <laughs> Appreciate you. Yeah, I'm sure like lower tier PU, ZU type of thing. Just drop wait another small teaser trailer highlighting the last just dropped ten minutes ago. Is it using slack off, Owen? Is it using slack off though? Yeah, this is literally a ZU. This is a ZU threat. All right, shift tree. What do you think about shift tree on? Uh, no clue. <laughs> shift tree on sun, sun? would like be on manual, quite good. We got we got nine tails now, so sun will actually drop down to lower tiers, right? Torkoal is going to be always go back and forth between OU and UU, but Sun might legitimately drop down to lower tiers because of Ninetales. I do, I do very much like Shiftry, um, and it gets Heat Wave naturally, right? I but also it gets, um, yeah, like Giga Drain, Dark Pulse, Focus Blast, good set with Growth. I think it gets Nasty Plot too, Swords and Sets. I think it's just an all around good Sun Sweeper, good mixed Sun Sweeper, Sucker Punch, Solar Blade. Are also options. It on was it. uh, it was running PU. It w well, it was good on the ladder in PU, or, or no, it was good on the ladder in ZU last generation. Like it was the defogger of the tier, but it can't do that no more. Compared to the other chlorophyll users, I think it would it would be alongside uh, like Skull the other, um, Hisui and Lilligant. You would you put this alongside Hisui and Lilligant? I mean, think about it. On this mod shift tree. Yeah, on Sun Shiftry is kind of nice. I, I need you to see the. I'm not alongside his feet. I need you to see the the stat diff. 105, 105, <laughs> 180. I don't know, man. Plus hustle, play. Like, I don't know, man. I mean, Sucker Punch is actually kind of good. Like, think about it. Terra Dark Sucker Punch. Oh, I think any Dark type with Terra Dark Sucker Punch is so, it's fine. Yeah, I agree with you. I feel like that could actually be really good. I can see it. I can see it. I think I think I think Terrasolation with Shiftry, like because of Sun and stuff like that, is is kind of is is quite nice. Yeah, Esky Swords it. it. Lost knockoff, so that's pretty big. Hopefully it still gets low kick. Oh yeah, lost knockoff, right. I think any dark type being able to Terra. Most of them in uh, in NU Terra to fairy types. Just talking about the meta and stuff. How much of a big deal do you think the new legends will play with toxic abilities? I think it'd be nasty, dude. You go for any move and you can badly poison me. It's crazy. I don't know. Shift Tree would be like a lower tier staple on, on Sun. Like very lower tier. Maybe manual sun as well. I see it. Crawdon, huge. I talked about this in my vid, bro. You excited about this mod? Freaking coming back with the Terra. Terra water. Uh oh, Crawdon like, is. Uh, that's, yeah, adaptability I really doesn't like Crawdon. push it too much, right? But I think still Terra water is fine with adaptability. Two point two five. No, it's it's really it's really good. I really like Crawdon a lot. Uh, I remember using that as like wall breakers and stuff like that. Um, Swords dance Crawdon especially. Ooh. And if you tear a water, but if you tear a water, it. it's only two point two five, and it still does have knockoff though. It gets that in his uh, move pool, which is really nice. Like this guy, oh, still gets knockoff. Okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think swords and set and drag uh, with tear water actually are not bad. No, I think I think I think uh, no, dude, tear water out. adaptability crawdont with like aqua jet and stuff. Swords dance, oof. oof. The thing with the terror interaction, like I said, is adaptability is two times, and then if you tear, it's only two point two five times. So it's not like it doesn't like super stack. Mm -mm. It's only 2.25. And you only get the stab on that. Hey fam! Having a good night, thank you. Terrifying CC. I can see it as well. But I don't think you need that when you have your water move. Like, you just tear a water crab hammer. Honestly, uh, this mon and Basque Legion really cool next to each other. Obviously, Basque Legion is faster, but this mon having stab knockoff is the big thing. Because I mentioned in my video, but like, Wave Crash is. Um, nice, but you're killing yourself. Whereas this one is spammable knockoff, which is just amazing. 
Yeah, knockoff slot from this thing is going to be tough to switch into. Very tough. Any thoughts on Chimeco? Yes, I, I have quite a few thoughts on that Mon. That Mon is good. I'll tell you why. Because I built a stall team, I remember, for uh, not last gen, but the gen before, Gen 7 OU. And I 6 owed an entire team on the higher ladder with Parish Trap Chimeco. And I destroyed six Mons with it. Literally, I guess that like means opposing Chimeco bulky is team. good. Chimeco, dude, I rap Parish song, recover, protect. Ooh, does it still get? Will it still get that though? Will it still get? I think it'll get Parish song. I think it'll get recover, protect. Will it get rap? That's the question. By the way, Terra plus adaptability is two point one, no higher. It's two point two five. I think it also gets uh, another trapping move. I forgot what it was though. Oh, it doesn't get blocked. Oh, it gets bind. Nice. Oh, it's like a, oh, that's the worst move in the game. Bind? Yeah. No, it it traps and damages the target for four to five turns. Yeah, but it's less accurate than rap. <laughs> like, for no reason. <laughs> like, for no reason. <laughs> why? Why is it 85? <laughs> yeah, actually, why? <laughs> Uh, Chimeco's whatever. It doesn't do anything. Unless it actually... So right now we have a limited Pokemon that can use, like, Heal Bell. Like, we have Blissey uh, that can do it right now. Um, so maybe Chimeco, if they were to bring back... Let's say nothing gets Heal Bell again. If they were to bring it back, this might actually be one of the few clerics. So it might actually have a place on stall. I can see it. I can see it. I'm just saying, you know, if Chimeco comes back, I, you could expect another signature Chimeco stall from me. That's hey, for sure. You're right. Also, my Lodic, dude. This mod is was already hard enough to kill in draft. Imagine this mall with Terra in draft. Like water's Ooh. already a broken type, but imagine fairy. So the Ooh. dragons can never boost past you ever. Also That's imagine true. imagine the actual dragon dance slash coil set with Terra. An actual stab. Instead of having to use Dragon Tail and, and, I, I and think, Waterfall. I think the attack set, I think the whole Dragon Dance coil set with Terra, I mean, it's not bad. I think for Draft League and stuff, it actually is going to be really good if it has Terra mm. with that stuff. But it's attack set so bad, bro. It is, it is. But man, when you can Terra Fairy, bro, and they can't electric you. That's true. Fairy, no, that's only true. Being, fairy only weak to two different types. Like That's true. I, yeah, I, I could also see a competitive set, like if somebody tries to defog on you mm. and then you, you Terra with Oh my the, god, yeah, and you can two. and you can finally use more than just Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, and Surf. Exactly, you won't get walled by waters. <laughs> yeah, you could actually use like a Terra Blast Electric. Exactly. So back in, um, so back in Gen 4, uh, there was a big Milotic craze, right? And people used defensive, but a lot, a lot of people loved offensive Milotic because it's faster than Heatran, right? So it's faster than Heatran, and it's also faster than Loom. So for the longest time, this was a set that was Ren, and it would be uh, Hydro Pump to knock out Heatran. You obviously have Ice Beam for your Dragons because you're also faster than Dragonite in them. And then you have Hidden Power Electric, which will let you deal with Gyarados because naturally, even without any investment, right? Any investment at all. Even in Santa with Stealth Rock, you take a plus one Earthquake from Gyarados. Because dude didn't have power or bounce. Well, it did have bounce. But you take it. And then you knock it out back with HP Electric. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, like offensive sets are, are really viable on it for, on the special side. As well as uh, defensive sets and Flame Orb sets with um, Terra. Actually, it could be really, really tough to kill. And I also like how it can haze stuff. This mod can can do really well in just mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. stopping uh, setup mods. Like just clicking haze. And it's really good like Dragon Check too. Also, there's not a lot of mons with Toxic right now, right? Like, imagine I tear into a Steel or Toxic type, Poison type. Yeah, I can see well. that too. To, to Wall Fairy, like to Wall Iron Valley and things like that. You already do, but... I can see that too. Oh, imagine Marvel Scale, Flame Orb, Terra Poison. You, like, just Wall Earthquakes as well. <laughs> <laughs> that actually kind of, that actually sounds kind of cool. I just, I can't wait. I think this mon's really good in VGC as well. So I'm very happy to, or has been in the past, so I'm very happy to use that mon. Yeah, like Icy Wind and stuff. All right, Vikavolt. Any any thoughts, dude? You could Terra and then uh, it's a pure electric. Keep your stab and have no weaknesses. Oh, you have Levitate too, right? Yeah. Uh, Vikavolt, uh, I kind of like... You know what I like? I kind of like... Yeah, I am um, Mega Scizor. I have been around ooh. a long time. This I, this mod actually... I think this mod is actually going to be pretty good for uh, Sticky Webs, bro. Yeah. Like, look at the Sticky Web users we have so far. Masquerade, Spide Ops. Literally Masquerade, Spide Ops, and... Cricutune. Is Cricutune in the game, right? I think it is. Yeah, probably. I've heard yeah. of the little whoop. Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> yeah, like, I think this is going to be, like, a much better uh, Weber. I, th I feel like it's going to be a really good one. Alongside Masquerade, I think Masquerade is really good, too. 
But this mod I think is going to be good for webs. Um, and then also you have like the regular offensive sets. And of course you have Roost, which is good with Terra. Mm -hmm. I think Terra is going to make this thing better because it has, um, it'll have better coverage. Like, ooh, what if you Terra, okay, what if you Terra Ice and you transform into Krogadil because it also has Levitate too. <laughs> I think you, why would you not Terra Water, Envy? Why would you not Terra Water? If you're going to Terra on this mod. Ice. Stop, water ice. resist ice. Stop saying ice resist ice like that means crap. I'm tired of you. Terra water. How come Trickle Reason used more? Uh, I mean, it was used a lot when uh, Ursaluna came out because Magrino was great with it, but just, it's not as, what's the downside? You get very little turns. One turn of setting up Trick Room, you got four turns left. You switch out to your guy, you got three turns left. So it's just not really the uh, in the best space. Do you think you can make an SDR to see for Oya's comebacks for all for our beloved Sanish? Oh, most likely I can. I just want to hear why ice other than resist ice and water. He's thinking about what ice KOs, but whatever ice KOs, water KOs too. And whatever water keep, doesn't you know, KO is looking at these can. I just keep looking at these mods and I'm like, hmm, I remember Vikavolt. I like this mod, but I remember it struggled versus Lando T and it struggled versus Liscor and it struggled. So like, let's, get rid of its, let's get rid of its rock weakness and give it a rock weakness. Good job, Evie. Or we can become a water type with Levitate, aka Rotom Wash, and Terra Blast the hell out of those mods, plus Heatran. Come yeah, on. But Terra Water makes you weak to. Who cares? Because you're already flying with Levitate. Now you're weak to Electric. I'll switch. What a scientist. I'll switch. Alright, give me a legitimate Terra besides Ice. A legitimate one. Legitimate one, I would say, is. Okay, you know what? You know what actually could be a good one. Terra ground. Okay, what are we going for with ground? Why? Uh, ground for Heatran, also uh, a levitating ground, so that we could be Claydol. Oh. Why do you like ground more than water? Water, I feel, is good defensively, and I feel like this Pokemon, it's not bad defensively, but you don't think water is good offensively? Uh, let me think. Water, electric, bug. Can I can I name a few Pokemon that say otherwise that water is good offensively? Yeah, name a few. Walking Wake. Hydro Steam. Uh, I can give you Keldeo as well in Generation Five and Six. Come on, let's look at the OU tier as well. Let's see what else we got with water. Hmm. Azu, Basque Legion, Tondozo, defensive and offensive, because that mod is a threat once it starts cursing. I don't know, man. I don't just Terra Electric. No weaknesses. I mean, that's why I, that was the first thing I said when I came in, when we started oh, talking about really? the okay. Yeah. Oh, I have another one. I'm listening. Uh, wait. Let me look at all the types here. Mm. Water so okay, good I got offensive it. and defensively. I think also. Uh, I think also Terra. Ooh. Terra Dragon might not be bad. Resistances. Terra Dragon isn't terrible. <laughs> Not ter just... ter Terra Dragon isn't terrible. Yeah, like, like imagine like Firewater Grass is this. Dragon. Mm -hmm. Exactly. See what I mean? Could work. Levitate. Yeah, Terra Ground got gets rid of the rock type weakness though. Just I mean, like you were saying. But I just think Terra Water is cool because like if you look at Electric type and you look at OU, there's only there's a few Electric types, right? You got Rotom. Oh, I hate this national dex that messes me up uh there's there's rotom there's val that turns into a terra and use thunderbolt occasionally there is golden gold that uses thunderbolt too but there's not a lot of actual electric type attacks in ou that are strong and that are super common okay here's here's so what i want you to here's what i want you to imagine okay now pretend you're in a game and you have a vika voltap you've just clicked agility and you're feeling kind of nice but you forgot what three moves you had. Now tell me the three moves you have that can sweep the entire six months on your opponent's team. Thunderbolt, Bug Buzz, and Terra Blast Water. The hell resist that? Let's check. Thunderbolt, Thunder Bug Buzz, and Terra Blast Water. What resists that? That's water. It, that's basically Bolt Beam. That's Bolt Splash plus Bug. That's not dual typing? That's literally not dual typing? I can't like, mm. I, I, there's not one singular type that resists that off the top of my head at all. And there's very few dual types that actually 
can take it. I'm gonna say Dragapult. What is Spadef Lando doing back if I'm a water type? It can't even earthquake me. There's only the. Oh, yeah, Dragon. Well, it's actually just—it's it actually now just you're Dragapult. Gonna you were Terra Ice. It's actually just Dragapult. I mean, I said Terra Fairy as an option too, but it's actually just Pult. No, Dragon no, doesn't wall. Dragon gets uh, like Dragon gets two shot by Thunderbolt. Bolt Beam. Cloud has to have Underwear. I mean, uh, Water Absorb. Dude, Ice might be fine on Agility, but on Specs, no way. Ice actually is fine on Agility. I'm thinking about it. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. But on Specs, no. Water is definitely superior. Yeah, only Dragapult is the main one. The actual legitimate answer. Golden Go. What do you mean, Golden Go? Golden Go. Did anyone know this resist Thunderbolt? Mega Charizard X. First off, that Mon takes neutral from Terra Water. <laughs> Ivy Gudra Hard Walls. That Mon is not staying OU, but sure. Right, Indigo. Dugong. You remember Dugong, Envy? I do. In fact, Ooh, I get do. it? I do, Gong. I do, yeah, yeah, I heard it. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you a set that I ran on my signature Chinese Dugong stall team. Okay, it was I have trap. Whirlpool, yeah, Whirlpool, Parish Song, Rest, and Rain Dance with Hydration and Leftovers. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Uh, I mean, that's basically all I can do, right? If it can still even do that, if it can still Whirlpool and do that stuff. Lower tier Parish Trapper on stall. Um, maybe you can do, it doesn't have any setup at all besides Curse, which is, if it still even gets that. Which is not good. Ugh, water ice are two great offensive types, but not together. <laughs> like if I want a water ice type, I use Lapras. I use Iron Bundle. Yeah, the you want to know why Bundle does good? Because that's freeze dry. That's not freeze water dry. ice. That's freeze dry. All right, <laughs> that's freeze dry. Because that mine is freeze dry. Lapras does that cut. too. Lap Lapras is the same thing. That's too. why I said I rather use. La I literally said that's why I rather use Lapras. Yeah, and I use Iron Bundle. You know what I do like about Dugong? Fungal, I use Dragology in my draft league. I don't know when I'll do a video on it, because it's not like anything Dugong's new. Really good. You probably have to keep asking for a while, bro. Ooh! Dugong can do something that Amber Pump can also do. It can fake out. <laughs> yeah, fake out Ice Shard. That's why I use it in BDSP. <laughs> That's fire. Alright. Dugong Ooh, does get it. Mega Horn. Guys, this mon is unmon. I'm sorry. Lower tier, maybe you can perish trap. That's about it. Unmon. Just unmon. I what, really... if you what if you tear a normal fake out? Congratulations, you wasted your terrestrialization on a 40 base power move. Now, how will you proceed with your 70 attack? Double edge. Ah. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> we've seen what your plus two double edge from Furret did to zap those. <laughs> I'm excited about the Eggies though. Bo oh. Both of them? Bofa? <laughs> Dude. This mod was incredible with specs. I freaking love this mod. Cut I can't I can't wait till Custap comes back. I'm tired of Custap being behind a paywall. Give me Custap. Give my damn cuss that barrier step. back, bro. Dude, we need cuss that berry back. I don't know. This mod just seems insane, dude. Grass dragon offensively, but change your typing so you don't get popped. Oh, I'm gonna I'm run Terra Blast ground too for Heatran. This is a good trick room mod too. Yeah, it's it's great. I could see, I could see a trick room, uh, yeah, I could see a trick room executor putting in a lot of work. Dude, uh, legit, I think it's really good offensively. It's a great trick room mon. I think the other mon uh, can be very annoying sub seed in lower tiers. Also, I think both of them are trick room, literally. One of them, uh, I think regular executor probably goes lower than uh, Alolan. Jetpack Mac, useless defensive water ice types and big tree supremacy. Hey, much love, dude. Thank you for the super chat, bro. Um, this one was really cool in like lower tiers with Psychic Leaf Storm. Obviously, you're running a Terra Blast. Yeah. The Executor set that I love running was a Sub Seed one. Sub Seed was um, so. Dude, that one's broken in Rambaz. It's so annoying. It's so obnoxiously fun to use, but not fun to face. You ever use a. Uh, 
You played a little bit of Gen 4, are you right? A little bit, I played. I played. You ever use the explosion team with Executor or Explosion? Not that one in particular. I used the Explosion Metagross one. I mean, obviously, if you play, if you play Gen 4, you had to use Explosion Metagross at least once. Yep. But this yep, yep, mon, yep. this mon, um, I mean, Explosion broken, right? That generation. So anything with it is valid. Uh, so this mon was pretty cool because, you know, you have your, your Psychic, your, your, your Grass move. And the other explosion nuke everything else. I just love this mon. I'm a big fan really of good. the Lola and Eggie coming back, dude. I, I can't wait to do videos with these. That's what I'm gonna start doing as well now, because like obviously a lot of the mons, I already did all. I already did every single Hisui mon, right? Besides, uh, I didn't do a solo video for Palkia and Diago Origin, but I did a live stream with them. So I did every single Hisui mon, and now it's time to do the fun mons. Yeah. Uh, this mon's gonna be good. Flygon. Ooh, how you feel about Fly? And lower tier. Lower Flygon tier. is. Oh, yeah, Flagon really good. Dragon Dance Mon, um, it has a great amount of Terra options that it can do. Um, Flagon, I, 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 I don't know if it'll get Defog or not, but if it does, I think it'll be good for it. I don't think it will. Um, I don't think it will. Think so? Yeah, I, I think with Terra is going to be really powerful. You know, bro, what if... Okay, okay, hear me out, hear I'm me out. I'm listening, I'm listening. Terra Ice, yeah, Terra Ice. Terra Ice? Terra Ice, yeah. Terra ice, yeah and it becomes yeah. Cryogonal 2. Terra Ice, Jesus points. Christ, dude. Stop turning them into Ice types. <laughs> so it, it will resist ice because it's ice. You didn't even say Terra Electric, so it could be immune to everything. Dude, nope. we'll kill Landers. You can kill Landers with Terra Water. Terra Ice Levitator, bro. This no, is so good. No, legitimately, this one, though, Terra Electric actually isn't bad. Because you kill uh, Corby. You kill Corby. You wall Corby. Ground Electric is really good coverage, too. Walled by Lanners. Dude, I'm running Terra Fairy on this thing. I'm smoking Great Tusk. Terra Ice would actually smoke Great Tusk too. No, you're not going to kill it and you're going to die back to CC. At least my way, I can't be Earthquaked because of my ability and I resist CC. Oh, no, 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 no. no. I'm talking about Choice Specs Flygon, bro. I'm, what are you talking about? Oh, shut the Choice hell up. Choice Specs Terra Ice. Shut the hell up. You were talking about Dragon Nets and you know it. <laughs> you were talking about Dragon Nets and you know it. Also, if I'm going to use Specs Flygon, I'm going to use Bad Neuburn and use Terra Boomers. <laughs> oh, Terra Normal Boomers, bro. Yo. Yeah, Neuburn can do it and it's faster. Flygon can do it too. And it's also stronger. Flygon can do it in the low tiers. <laughs> yeah, I can. Just copy, you know. <laughs> What up, Pity? And B, what are we doing if I get to 500? What do we say we're doing? Uh, are we doing a movie? Or are we doing Envy Week? Or what are we doing? I'm, I'm down. We can do the movie. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Nice little RNG, super live. Mm -hmm. Alright, so if I get to 500 members before the end of this month, oh, Envy and I are bro. doing an RNG super live movie. Yeah, RNG super live if, if you're make sure Make sure you all, all follow. Make sure you all subscribe. Make sure you all become members. Listen, I'm going to tell you something that that actually could change the game for Flygon. You remember how oh. we wished Flygon would get a Mega Evolution and it never did? What if we Terra bug first impression? Yeah, people were saying that in my chat as well. Not here, but in too? the actual thing, in the actual thing. Terra no, bug first impression bug. sounds so bad, I can't wait. Oh, but then you get stab U-turn too. <laughs> let's just you become, let's exactly. become, become low kicks with, the cuff, with Earthquake. Yo, and it actually becomes the bug dragon we hoped it would always be. Choice spam. That's actually amazing. Call me low kicks. <laughs> Call me bad. So we become bad Neuburn and bad low kicks. I love it. <laughs> Probably need to run. Iron. You... you gotta run like crappy Iron Tail for fairies. Oh, for fairy. Oh, no. You have Earthquake. What are you talking about? Yeah. Earthquake That's... can deal with most of them. That's fair. I would think. And then your last move could be, uh, let me think, actually, your last move. We can't touch nothing with our last move. <laughs> no, last move can be, um, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, uh... Oh, no, but Bad Low Kick sounds very fun either way. Yeah. I mean, you could also go the special route, and you could run either Bug Buzz, Silver Wing, or Struggle Bug. Thank you. Thank you for checking all of those. I'm glad. I'm glad you specifically said Struggle Bug, by the way, because that's the move I was really looking for. Didn't leave any of them out. Had to include all of them. Perfect. Silverwing. Silverwind specifically. Silverwind actually could give you the Omni Boost. I know you're happy about Metagross, dude. I'm so... Oh, dude. Give me I honest so thoughts, happy. bro. How would you run this Pokemon? How would you run this Pokemon? I'm so happy about Metagross. Okay, so... Um, 
the last time I used it was in the gen with Power Herb Meteor Beam, and I mm -hmm. thought it was really like when I used it, it was really really good. Traditionally, I've used Metagross um, in as like mainly AV. I remember when it had Pursuit, I was using it a lot as yeah, AV. Good. Yeah, AV was good. AV is really good. Yeah, Pursuit, yeah. Um, I do, yeah, I do think that with Terra agility sets can be really dangerous, especially with. Imagine you set up Veil with a little Nine Tails, and you have agility Metagross with weakness policy Terra. Ooh, I like that a lot. Now, please yeah. don't say Terra Ice because it gets because you don't need that. Uh, so power I, I, Ice Punch? No, I, no, 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 no. You actually, I think you need uh, Zen on that one, right? Zen or just something to touch. Your last needs to be something that can beat Rotom, and also, uh, yeah, just be good in general to spam. I could see, uh, yeah, like I could see Terra Blast Electric. Terra. Terra Electric actually works. Or Corvi. Steel. Let me think. What do steels traditionally Terra into that makes it good? Like offensive steels. Um, flying. Terra Flying, I think, could also work. The Terra well, Blast. Uh, but I don't like that, though. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, Terra Fight isn't bad, but we, don't, we get Hammer Arm. But I don't know. Raise must be just to lower it. Hmm. Yeah, Terra. Terra. Uh. It's hard, right? Because like you could do a neutral one that way you're not weak to great. Like ideally, if you agility up, you want to kill stuff like Great Touch too, which is why I'm thinking Zen Headbutt, and you just forgo the whole. You run the defensive Terra that lets you eat the hits, and you just forgo the whole. Um... Ooh, you know, you know what would be actually good for weakness policy? Um, what if you do Terra Grass for like U turns and stuff, and also gives you the ground resistance, and also beats Rotom? Ooh, but it doesn't beat Corviknight though, which is what I was more so worried. Like I feel like if I'm gonna beat. Rotom, why can't I just use Zen Headbutt? Um, I should get this guy shift gear. In the, yeah, I agree. Yeah, the three moves would be a little interesting, but because you, you definitely want you would definitely want Earthquake and Meteor Match. I feel. I, I feel like you need Meteor Match for like the fairies and stuff like that. Yeah. Meteor Match or Earthquake is really good, and then to deal with Rotom, you could do Terra Blast. Yeah, I think Terra Blast. Uh... So you can even do Terra Fire. I agree, with you, TK. Or Terra Fairy is not bad either. No, but then it doesn't be Corv. Yeah, Terra, Terra. Maybe we just get walled by Corv. I, I think Terra Electric. No, no, hundred, no. hundred percent. I think Terra Electric, bro. Maybe. Then you need Ice Punch for Landers. I don't know. I don't know. It is hard. It's very I, hard. I feel like I feel like it depends on the team making. You can come up with a lot of great stuff for it. But then, yeah. Also, um, Choice Band Metagross is also really fun yeah. to use. Choice Band can work too oh. for sure. Choice. Nice yeah. explosion. Normal gem as well. Maybe. Choice Band. I could see, yeah, Choice Ben is really cool. Choice Scarf is not bad. Um, I definitely think with Terra, it could be pretty interesting because you outrun a lot of stuff. That's sets that I've used before. Um, Terra Iron Steel Bullet Punch, pressed. yeah. Terra Steel Bullet Punch and Banded Meteor Mashes in lower tiers sound pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, do oh, you, you think this thing is going to get Cosmic Power? If it does, the Cosmic Power uh, Body Press set sounds crazy, dude. It does, with, especially with Terra, right? Because, like, you think about it, Cosmic Power, Body Press, um, it also gets, I think, if I remember correctly. No, it doesn't get Store Power. But, yeah, like, Cosmic Power, Body Press is, is, uh... This is the set, dude. Pretty good set. This was the set, man. This set. Oh, and no, and you get Terra. I, I was talking about Terra Fairy because you only weak to two types. And they're not going to hit you, right? Steel types aren't really... Steel and Poison type attacks in lower tiers are not that common. Yeah. No, that's really work. good. And and assuming it doesn't get cosmic power, then you could just give it iron defense. Yeah, literally, literally. You can go iron defense if you don't want to do that. And then just give it more spit F and go iron defense, literally, yeah. This boy. Meta needs a way to raise his attack. Oh, Meteor Mash. That, yeah, Meteor that gives Mash it a plus one. <laughs> That's a pretty good chance of giving it a boost. It's, uh, what, 30? No, 20? It's still a decent amount. Dude, it felt like 100 back, mm -hmm. in, back in the day. It did actually. It did feel like hundred. Like hundred percent chance to meet my opponent. Oh, ten thousand percent crit, hit me, miss. Yep. This mom gonna be fire. Uh, Zeb Striker. Okay. Nice eighty. Hold up, Envy. This is your mod, isn't it? Mm, this is not my mod. You don't like this mod. Hold up, hold up. This mod though, with the with the sap sipper. Okay, hold up. The sap sipper. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you a set that I did run though for a video a while back. A set that I did run was Normal DMZ Laser Focus with Wild Charge, Double Edge, and Flame Charge. Now I know that Laser Focus is probably not gonna be a set for this mon, and I don't even know if it's gonna 
continue getting that move. There's no normal MZ, of course, but I remember it did something. I forgot what it did, though. I think it raised your critical hit, and then it did something else, like dude, raised your attack. Dude, I used Zip Striker in a video, and it worked. That was my title, by the way. So I used the uh, low kick, overheat, volt switch, hit and power ice, right? With fire MZ, and let me... Look at my first freaking game. I fought a damn T-Tar. You're not supported. Ooh, yours has hidden power ice. I realize it doesn't have any ice coverage, so I feel like we can go Terra Ice with Terra Blast. I feel like that's fine in this one. Alright, look, look, look. Yeah. Do you want Scizor? Do you want Scizor into T-Tar? Do you want T-Tar? Take the chip. Shamon! Bam! Easy. Got kicked and killed in the first one. Hold up. I also think Terra Water is pretty good on this because of Sap Sipper. So you become Terra Water Sap Sipper. Yeah. Terra Water Sap Sipper ain't bad. What up, ATD? Ice is actually decent on the fast mod. I agree. Nice. So you agree with all my other ones. Look, bro. No. I'm just on the fast mod. Also, goodbye. No, we're not watching no vids. I was just looking at a bunch of the damn. Volts doing 40 was so disgusting. That guy hacks me, though. Whatever. Either way. Dude, Subscriber just needs some stats, bro. Zebras are so cool. He needs better special attack. Uh, What's your favorite zebra? Like, from shows? Yeah. Mm, Marnie? Is that his name? Is from it? Madagascar? Yeah, maybe. That's what I was thinking of when I when I asked you that question. Marty, That's the only Marty, one I know. Marty. I like Marty. Zebra. That's Chris Rock, isn't it? Yep. Knew you were gonna guess that one. Overheat. I don't know, man. Like offensively, it sucks his mom doesn't get any setup at all. But like offensively, obviously, it, get, it would get Bolt Beam with Terra Blast, which isn't bad. It's a TM for Overheat. Like, something like this, like Mix with Terra Ice. Super lower tier threat, but like, I mean, fast threats with Ice are always fine. This mod is not getting out of PU, that's for sure. I'll tell you that much. Yep. Whimsicott, GOAT! Whimsicott actually is going to be really... Good, good especially dude. in VGC, bro. This mod is gonna be. I mean, this mod runs VGC. It does, and it will run it again with Tailwind and Fake Tears and all kinds of fun stuff. But a guy like me is running Choice Specs. Ooh. Running Choice Specs. I remember. I remember that one. Yeah, Choice Specs. Uh, are you gonna go like Choice Specs Terra Blast something? Yeah, Terra Fire something. Ice. Yeah. Probably fire in this case. Ice the set that I loved, the set that I loved the most using was um, a Chinese EV spread Whimsicott. It was like a sub leech seed encore set. Really good. I can see it. Oh, Terra Ground. What am I even saying? Terra Ground for steals. Fire Ground. Literally. Yeah, easy. Literally. But definitely Ground. It was nice, dude. This mod was so fire in lower tiers. Mon's fire. I, I love this mon. Obviously, this mon's gonna run VGC. It's 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 speed control you need. It's literally like a shadow ball. Ooh, you could run Terra Fighting because you can shadow ball Golden Go. Ooh, if I want to use an o OU, yeah, why not? Yep. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm why do I need Terra Fight for? Terra Fight for Heatran. Why not Terra? Terra Fight isn't gonna Oko it though. Why not Terra Ground? Uh, you hit uh you hit the Corvinet neutrally. It's not gonna do anything anyway. Okay, also, you, you also, shadow, you pair also shadow ball also will hit it neutrally. I don't know, man. Okay, yeah, then you go U-turn. No, here's what you do. Here's what you, do. you go Moonblast, Giga Drain, Terra Blast, Ground, U-turn, and pair with Magnezone. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I like that, I like that, I like that. Yep. Then you have the momentum, and you, you trap Corviknight, and then you Terra Blast, Ground, everything else. Easy. Sinchino. Little Sinchino. My guy's been waiting for this. He's been here the whole time. You can actually run uh, Technician with loaded dice. With loaded dice now, which is pretty cool. And obviously, you get all the coverage. Not better than Amapom, but you know, you don't have to do. Definitely not better than the Amapom though. 
What are your thoughts on the MV? Do you think it's better than M Pump? Um, you know, I'm gonna say no, just because I kind of like Ambipom a little bit more. I like how seed, I like I like the coverage and the versatility and stuff like that on Ambipom. Chinchino, I think, is really cool though. I did draft it. Did you actually uh, use it? I think I used it once. Did it do anything? I want to say I want to say yes. I want to say it did something because I had it in the thumbnail, so I feel like it did something. Hmm. We'll check that out. We'll confirm later. Confirm later, yeah. I mean, I I, I, the big thing about this same thing like Ampon, right? Loaded Dice Technician. It's really one-dimensional with this mod, though. You do have ups, like access to Encore. That's about it. You can Thunder Wave. Ampon could do all this stuff, too. And Fake Out. Imagine now, it gets tidy this up. Did might... get your Black Slur, no? It did. Yeah, it still gets it. Well, we don't. that's National Dex. So National Dex gets everything. Night Ooh. Scientist. Appreciate no you. Black, I guess we're gonna have to Terra High soon. <laughs> <laughs> you Terra Grass, both seed. I love the theme of this video is, or the theme of this stream is Terra Ice. Terra Ice. Everything. Terra Ice. <laughs> Extra <everything. this> Ice. <laughs> but um, I do, I do think that like it has potential. Like again, a little lower tier, overwhelming threat with Terra for sure. Yeah. Like I think that's like we've all liked. I like that. Literally. Reuniclus is next though. Oh, ooh, Reuniclus. Oh, we gotta talk about that mom. That mom is is gonna be so good with dude. Dude, Terra. What set Wait, you running Terra? on it, bro? What's the first set you running on it, dude? Okay, the first one I think of, bro, is the one that annoyed me the most, or just the most obnoxious one, which is the Calm Mind Acid Armor, uh, Recover, Stored Power with, and you just layer up Toxic Spikes, so you just have something beat to the beat. Dark types, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Dark types, yeah, like literally, or. Yeah, like, and with Terra as well, it could be pretty difficult mm -hmm. to knock out with, yeah. That's the so one set. Though, though Gambit is a threat to that, like, legit. And it is, it is. Very big So, threat. set number two, of course, is uh, the Calm Mind Recover, uh, Psychic Move Focus Blast, or Terra Blast Fighting is another option. Um, yeah, you could also just one, run yeah. Fairy if you want on that and just say, screw yeah. you, Heatran, but... Uh, one of my favorite ones, uh, actually, uh, that I used quite a bit is my uh, Chinese Reuniclus set. So it's AV Regenerator with mm -hmm. Future Sight, mm -hmm. Shadow Ball, mm -hmm. Focus Blast, and Knock Off. Uh, Chat, saw me, Chat saw me making it before you before you even started talking about it. Wait, really? Yeah, once you said one of my favorite sets, I literally put an AV on this thing. Uh, <laughs> you knew it. You knew it. Yeah, like literally, like this set can... It sponges every hit. It regenerates itself. Future Dude, sites literally can. turn it into a fairy too. Like yeah, and then you would beat everything. Mhm. Mm yeah, like future sight, shadow ball, focus blast. I'm running. I'm running terror blast though. Terror blast is fine too. Yeah, easy. What does Chinese mean in Pokemon? I keep on hearing. And Tell me about a whole the video. Tell me about the short. I have a whole video on it. Joy did a short. I did a on whole it. short on it. If you want to check it out as well, it's like a, it's on the video. Yep. As well. But I will say that uh, I think Combine Ridiculous looks crazy right now. Uh, the fact that we we have a, a distinct lack of Magic Guard mods, so Garg is annoying. This is like super anti Garg. This mod in itself will can one v one stall like on its own easily. easily. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, it's so good. Uh, I'm mean, Ridiculous is just a really really good mod. And then of course uh, another set is Trick Room plus three attacks or two attacks recover. Uh, Trick Room is I think really good too. Oh, another. Oh, I think there was one. Uh, Trick Room Endeavor. Remember that one? Oh yeah, the little baby versions. When the little babies, you know, you're running into the team on the ladder with Hail, Clef, Reuniclus, Duosion, and all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the homies be uh, the homies be going for Endeavor and trying to beat you with the last mod Reuniclus. It's I remember that. I remember that. It's very funny. I love I love teams like that. You can't do that crap no more though. No. Because of because uh, the way Hail works. Dude, Golurk with Terra. Dude, Golurk with Terra seems so nasty, doesn't it? Like, if it gets its move tutors and everything back, the no guard, yeah. the coverage. Oh Go yeah, bro. Golurk is Golurk already strong is, as hell. Um, ooh. Oh wow. Yeah. It. No. Like with yeah, like the rock polish sets or just choice banded. Yeah. When it gets po when it gets banded. Poltergeist back too, bro. It, assuming Poltergeist does eventually come back, this mon. Stupid. Poltergeist removed at the moment. Yeah. It, it kind of, yeah, it's it's very reminiscent, like, of when it could use the Z-move after Rock Polish and do that. Like, with Terra, it kind of gets that same 
type of power. Similarly, um, just that boost in I mean, power when you rock polish yeah, so I mean, it feels just, like it's, it's yeah. a truck. Like the boost, obviously, with Terra would be crazy as well because you can go stab ghosts on that. Terra ghosts, rock polish, no guard, life orb. Oh mm -hmm. my god, that sounds nasty. And obviously, choice band was real good in like any <clears throat> and RU wall breaker as well. AV trick yeah, is always ice fun punch, too. You don't, you don't have to run Terra Ice on it because it gets mm -hmm. Ice Punch. I don't even know what Terra I run on this, bro. I might even run Terra normal for the one v for the for the neutral. Oh, on Golurk. Um, on Golurk, I like the Ghost Terra. offensively is fine. This Poltergeist guys hit hard as hell. Maybe Terra Steel. Why Steel? Um, Steel is just uh, it's just cool, bro. Thank you. Cause it is. Dude, I'm, I'm literally going to run Terra Ghost and click Poltergeist. That's what I'm going to do. Terra Ghost, Poltergeist. Assuming it gets Poltergeist, then yes. Yeah, when, it, when, it, when if it comes back with a DLC. This month. Does anyone still get Poltergeist right now or no? I don't think so. I can't think of one off the top of my head. Okay, bro. Meow Sticks. What do you think about the Meow Sticks? Um, do they both have Prankster? No, one is prankster, one is competitive. I think Meow. I actually think um, the female one is scarier with Terra. Uh, nah, yes. nah, dude, it's not Unmon. You can't call it Unmon because anything that can set up and have Terra is automatically a threat in lower tiers. Nasty Obviously, plot, three attacks, competitive, adrenaline orb. I don't know about adrenaline orb because there's no, not really many, many intimidate mons. But you can definitely what try. You can definitely do that in OU though and, and get a win. Yeah, for sure. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I agree with you actually. Uh, okay, what's that? Psychic? Psy Shock. Mm -hmm. Psy Shock, so you smack Cloud and stuff like that. Pax, Blissey. <laughs> Some of them, Brelo. I'm saying anything with like Terra, it can be scary. The Envy Meowstick video keeps popping up on my front page. Yeah. Oh, there was another Meowstick video that it? I did with um, the mail set. Why don't and you freaking bro. click it. Freaking click that Meowstick video, guys. It's yeah, click my Meowstic video, please. It's if you see it on the reason. front page, or if you find it, yeah, please click on my Meowstic video. Also, um, the male Meowstic actually is really good for uh, screens, prankster likely. I remember it, it, there was one set in particular that actually made setup crazy, like, easy to, to do because you would mean look. You would, like, get a screen up or whatever. You'd mean look a Pokemon. You'd yawn. And so they'd be, like, they'd fall asleep. They can't switch, right? Yep. Then you switch and just shell smash or whatever. Anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. Gashardon used to do it, too, with Memento as well. Yawn, protect. It's so good. What last move do you run to this? You tear um, ground? Nice Terra... Blast, Side Shock, Thunderbolt, Terra Blast. Ground? Uh, oh, what, a hit Heatran? Yeah. Or a... mm. I like Side Shock, Thunderbolt, but I guess you don't need Thunderbolt. I think you actually do, actually, for Corbinet. I think for Corbinet, you kind of do. Hold on, let me see. Meow stick. Dick. Okay, here's what... Looks like ends up in a higher tier than this. I'm thinking I, about... I have Shadow Ball in mind just because it, didn't, it doesn't have coverage, so you'd replace... You'd literally just replace that move for... I would say Terra Blast fighting for King Gambit. Okay, fight. And... Yeah, I like fight for Gambit plus that. Okay, yeah. And yeah, if you get the I think for Gambit and, and it also gets Heat Trend. And and if you get the competitive, this is good. Also, there's an option for Psychic over Psy Shock if you really want to, if you want to smash Lando. Mm hmm. We just, you say screw Golden Go with this Mon. Yeah, screw Golden Go with this Mon. This Mon isn't going to be used anyway. Oh, and last but least, <laughs> last but not least, Al Creamy. Yeah. Al creamy. I talked about it in my video, but basically it's a worse Florgus. It's literally a worse yeah. Florgus. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, Al creamy is whatever. Aroma, uh, the difference is Aroma Veil, which is obviously cool, right? You can be Encore and Tana, so like, Combine sets can technically be stronger, but the fact that Florgus has Wish and Synthesis and also Wish was not nerfed, is so nasty. Yeah, I, I like um. There's no uh. Are we are we, so? Here's one question: Are we getting back berries that are unreleased? I hope like so. Custab, I hope so. Key berry, etc., etc. I hope so. Also, this might not have mystical fire, so you have to run Terra Blast. 
I hope so. Yeah. Dude. That would be that would be really cool if some of those berries came out because I I've been meaning to use custard berry, but that bless you. It, it's one of my it, custard berry is my favorite berry, and it's, it's one not of my favorite berries too, dude. I use it all of Gen Seven already. I use it on every team just because yeah. it's so freaking good. It's so good. Custard berry is so good, and okay, but like on Al Creamy, I, I remember a, a set that I used um, Gen Eight was. Combine recover, draining his stored power with key berry to get a defense boost. Mm. It was pretty good. I guess you do draining his stored power for sure on this one too. Yeah, with like a Terra. I've also seen um, the acid armor combine set as well, like budget Runiclus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty I've seen good too. this in lower. I fought this in Gen 7, which was very scary. I think, I think lower tiers is going to be pretty obnoxious, but higher but, tiers. But like, like, but yeah, but like it's it's worse than Sylveon, it's worse than Florius for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so, it'd be like lower. Yeah, NU for sure. And then your Terra would be... There's not a lot of Steel types in the current NU tier, but that's gonna about to change when everything falls down. But there's a, there's Magneton, and yeah, that's uh, that's basically it. I think you could just Terra Poison with this thing, and you'd be fine. Uh, the problem with Terra Poison is Santa Conda is the best ground type in the tier. Yeah, Santa Conda... Do you think Valkyrie is going to be scared of a Santa Conda? I don't think so. Yeah, so you actually do when it Terra Poisons, it gets Earthquaked. I don't think he's gonna be that scared. No, imagine like you you imagine you acid armor it and then you terra poison as it earthquakes and you get a weakness policy and then you just kiss all your health back or store power. Done. <laughs> I mean I guess. I don't know. See? I, I feel like it's You can also just terra fairy and get a strong hit off. Yeah, and then die to a poison. Well, but I mean that's how Pokemon played before Terra ever happened, right? You have counters. But this isn't an offensive mon, this is like a setup mon. This is. 110 special attack ain't bad though, hold up, you can try specs. I had specs in my original moveset of this, besides obviously the the standard. This doesn't get a moonblast, is it? Or the, or no, the... it's one of yeah. the crappy fairies <laughs> that gets- It's one of the crap fairies, I know. crap fairies that gets dazzling gleam, like come on man. <laughs> it's like they have a tier of fairies where they want to keep them. Even though Togekiss should not be on that tier, Togekiss needs moon- It got it in Legends Arceus. But, uh, yeah, they, it's one of them, like, you can definitely run Troy Specs on this, though. Dazzling Gleam, Energy Ball, Terra Blast, because it's actually most likely no Mystical Fire. Yeah, something like this, Psy Shock. Like, some fa fun Specs, literally, again, literally, Florius does this better. Like, if you look mm -hmm. at their stat comparison, 112, 154, faster, less defense, but more HP by a lot. Like, yeah. That's insane, Braylon. But yeah, I think that covers every month. You have anything else you want to say, Envy, about the DLC? I am very excited for the release. For the for the for for these months to come back, first of all. Second of all, for Metagross. And thirdly, I'd just like to say, make sure y'all leave a like on this video, drop a like on this video, and also leave a comment. Boost Joy's interactions. Let us know what you learned. And also, if you don't know what to say, just say, terastalize ice so we can resist ice. Thank you. All right, guys. Appreciate it. What up, Jeremy? We're about to leave, bro. Have oh, a yeah, great subscribe night. Subscribe to myself, please. Sub to MV. His channel link always down below. Always down below in my video. See yep. you on the next one, guys. Peace.